So I have an idea for this guy. Um, I'm going to take it apart and, and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, got it apart. Really easy. This is just on here with little nails, so I just pulled them out. Um, so we're going to use this for the background because I wanted black anyway. Take this out. This is um, something I, I always save stuff like this that I think is interesting. This is on the bottom of an old chair. It looks like it was in a fire. I, I don't know. But I got this years ago and I just always hung on to it. I used it as, as a background in here for something. Oh, we're a big bug. <laughs> looks like I wanted the bug though, so I took the bug out at some point. Anyway, so we're going to save that. Okay, so I'm just going to clean this later because I want to do this now. I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, so my idea is I found these. I think they're really pretty and they're my colors. Um, they're pop-up stickers. I got them at Dollarama and I love the bigger ones. So I'm going to do one of those old-fashioned um, specimen boards for butterflies. So I'm going to get a big stick pin um, do that and then I printed out some Latin names on little pieces of paper here. See, I did a bunch of them. So we're just going to pick whichever ones fit best with the butterfly. Now it's not going to look totally realistic but I think it'll be fun more than anything. See they pop up. Look how cute that is. Look how cute! Okay. Okay, so I've got a piece of white uh, cardstock, and this is what I'm what I'm thinking. I kind of like the white on white, the white label on the white background. Oh, that looks really good. That looks really so cute, you guys. So cute. So easy, so cute. Look. Oh my god, come on. That's adorable. That's freaking adorable. Good lord. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the frame ready. Okay, now I'm just gonna try and put together... Oh, look how cute! Oh. And try and put this together without the butterflies falling off and without breaking the glass. Oh, look, oh my God, I love that. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, let's just finish putting it together. Okay, so I just have that really cheap um, canvas that I got from the thrift store. We're going to finish finish the edges off before we start this. But we're going to do another lab specimen uh, kind of artwork. And I just mod podged this on, and it turned out way different than I thought it would. Um, I kind of aged it by itself. I had to piece it together, but once I put this on, it's not going to be that noticeable. Um, and this is just a really cool, but kind of stiff fabric. 
um, burlap -y, linen -y look I got at the dollar store. I got it several years ago, actually. I just thought it was cool and knew I'd use it eventually. Okay, so let's finish up the edges. I have done all the edges around the back. Looks pretty good. Okay, so now we can figure out how we want our sea fan to look. Okay, so we're gonna tack it on with glue as well as trying to fit a little piece of paper around. Okay, so I have stamped my lab specimen and number 13 up at the top. Um, stamped them lightly so they look kind of distressed, you know, older. And now I'm just playing around with how to get this sea fan to stay on. Um, looks like I'm sure there's a zillion places that are touching, but I only see one big strong, oh, two, two strong places that are touching. So I'm going to use some hot glue on those two spots. All right, so. Now we're going to try and glue this piece of cardstock down, and then we're going to do our whole little pin trick. Perfect. Look at how cute you guys. Oh my gosh. This is cute. Good. Let's get our pins. I'm thinking this should be fairly easy to do. Uh, let's see if it's the easiest way to do this. Let's see. Okay, just a little dab. And then we'll just go right through the. There. Oh, yeah. That looks cute. Okay. Good, 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 good. Spider webs things. Do not like them. Good. I don't like to see projects with um, spider, those, you know, the glue spider webs. Because it's just, you know, it's a telltale sign that there's got glue on there. It's a little craft project. I don't like that. I don't like my stuff to look like a craft project per se. I like to be there. I like there to be some uh, air of authenticity. I'm just trying to go through not only this, 
which has Mod Podge all over it, um, two coats. Uh, it's trying to go through the canvas underneath. So it's sometimes putting up a little fight. Okay, put those out of the way. Last. And this turned out so cute. Okay, tiny little glob. I'll put that in. It sits pretty. Oh, I didn't do that well. Oh, there it goes. And there we go. Oh, that's so cute, you guys. Oh, oh. look how cute. Look how cute that looks. Those turned out really cute. Look. Oh my god. I'll obviously show it to you when I get it propped up. That is so cute. Look at that. I just copied that. I pasted it and changed the font and changed the uh, sentence around a bit. <gasps> oh. Okay. On to the next project. Hello everybody. So today uh, it's not really a house tour. I'm just going to try and show you some of my ideas. Um, really inexpensive. Super inexpensive um, ideas just to, uh, you know, for a little summer decor. Um, so yeah, so okay. Um, I also have some uh, DIY transformations to show you. So some of this stuff will be, um, yeah, I'll be showing you how to do it super duper easy. <laughs> I like cheap and easy. Okay, um, so let's just start. Uh, you guys all know about my pillows if you watch my videos at all. So these are just pillows that I have picked up at the thrift store, covered them uh, with a thrift store fabric and a little swatch of burlap. And then as the seasons change, I just change out this little guy. It's just a piece of fabric with iron on. Um, images that I get from graphicfairy.com. Super duper easy. Here is one that I just did. This is um, supposed to look like a lab kind of specimen deal. These are butterfly stickers that I picked up at uh, Dollar Tree. And the frame was from the thrift store I picked up years ago. And just put it together, put some pins in there. Um, and I think it turned out pretty, pretty cute. Love it. So that was that was a really inexpensive. Super duper easy to do. And picked up this lamp from Facebook Marketplace. Love, love, love. Had the lampshade. And it was 25 bucks. 
Love it. Uh, let's see. Here on my coffee table. Let's spin you around this way. <laughs> um, just candles. And I have this close here. I've had for a while now. You guys have seen it. Um, and I got some rope at the dollar store. Just draped it over. I don't know why rope reminds me of summer. Maybe because it ties up boats. I, I don't know. But it does. It reminds me of summer. So there you go. <laughs> and this is just a platter of seashells that I have. And these are little, they're so cute. These are little succulents, faux succulents from Dollar Tree. They did have an alligator clip on them. I took that off and they just go with my color scheme. They only had four of them, so I bought all four. These are faux stone spheres. Um, they're so light, they're so cool. Um, I just happen to have a thing for cement right now. And those were super, they were 99 cents each. Um, mail order from uh, Factory Direct Crafts. And then another thing is just strewing uh, dollar store or thrift store seashells. You know, at the base of your little plants. Love, love, love. Super duper easy and cheap. And over here, you guys have seen this. So cheap. Um, beet pots from the dollar store. Um, and I just did a rub on transfer. An IKEA plant. So easy. And look at this back here. I just did a little printout of a little crab and framed it in a really cool frame I got off of Etsy. And here's another one. Same uh, order from Etsy. Love those frames. Um, and then you just, you know, put uh, seashells around, put some faux plants around. And it just, to me anyway, it looks like summer. Well, faux uh, sea fan is a um, fish tank accessory that I got off of Amazon and I just spray painted it black. So cheap, so easy. And this, just a faux nest that I made with moss. A couple of faux eggs from Easter. And this really inexpensive faux seagull. Well, hopefully I don't have to say faux in front of seagull for you guys. <laughs> um, he, was, he was 30 bucks. So for me, that's pretty pricey. But I thought it was a lot of look for 30 bucks. And that was factorydirectcraft.com too. Okay, so those are some, just some real cheap ideas. Here's another one. Hopefully you guys can see through the glare. These are just little posters. Look at that, so cool. They're, you know, like uh, reproductions of, of vintage etchings. And I picked them up just because I right now have a thing for octopuses or octopi. Look at all well, this glare is just there. Look! Oh, I love these. Look at that. Oh, I just love these. Love, love, love. So cool. I guess they're old book plates. Yeah, I got these from artposters.com. I love that site. They always have 50% off. Okay, let's move to the next room. There's Grayson. Hi, Grayson. She is deep asleep. <laughs> okay. Moving on. In the kitchen, I'll just show you some real quick ideas. So, seashells, obviously, in pretty jars. And look at this. From the thrift store, recent trip. Got these little seashell um, toothpicks. And then over here, I have a sea urchin little... Uh, salt cellar and it has a little let me see if i can show you a little spoon look how cute it's supposed to look like coral okay so those are real cheap ideas dollar store this one i made a graphic from uh graphicfairy.com super duper cheap and easy seashells painted toys so love that. Dollar store. Little project I showed in my last video. Uh, over here, more toys that I just painted. Super duper easy. 
I think I talked about that in the last video. I don't know that I showed how to do it. I mean, it's just painting. So, I can only show you guys so much painting. <laughs> and these, look at these. These are so cute. This is something that I did years and years and years ago. They are plant stakes. And they're just for fun. I think I did them years ago as a part of a gift basket. So you just pop them in uh, plants. Look how cute. There, I'll show you one. Let's put this one over in my spider plant. Look how cute. <laughs> so anyway, that's a cheap idea. I, I plants to me scream summer, so that's why I made these. So yeah. Um, then I got the tulips. I've been seeing these all over YouTube. They're from Amazon. I think they're pretty good. They feel like rubbery plastic. And this is another cheap way to dress up dollar store candles. Um, doing rust, faux rust. It's, you know, just cinnamon glued on top of a painted lid. And I love that look. I do that to a lot of stuff. And then this here, I just happen to have an affinity for notebooks. So I'll show you the befores. And I just covered them, but they are the coolest little notebooks. They're, they're all different and they all have really cute, cute pages. Super duper cute. Oh, here, I gotta show you this one. Look at that, so super cute. From the dollar store. And yeah, I just happen to like them. So I got the images off of graphicfairy.com, of course, and just made my own little covers. And I covered the back too. Yep. Okay. And then in here, you guys have seen my little truck. I keep this up and I always change it for the seasons. Now I have seashells, cheap and easy. I just painted them white. All right. Now you guys know about my tea towels, cheap and easy. They're just flower sack. I think I got them off of Amazon because I couldn't find them at the dollar store. And iron on transfers. Now look at this one, this is a new one. Look how cute. That is a sand castle. And it started out as a dollar store uh, sand mold, you know, for kids to take to the beach. And I spray painted it and covered it in white sand. Um, I saw this um, on a YouTube channel. Um, I'll put on the screen who it is. I really like her channel. I'm now su subscribed. Um, but she did it with tan. Tan uh, paint and tan sand. And yeah, yeah. I obviously liked it. But I think it looks much cooler like this with the white sand and the, and the kind of cement color underneath. And then this is super duper cheap too. I showed you this in the last video. Um, I'll link it below just in case you want to watch it, you know, over and over again. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I just filled it with uh, thrift store shells that I painted white, most of them. And these are some that I didn't paint, but I thought they added a little variation. Love, love, love. And these are more succulents from the dollar store. Love these from Dollar Tree. Okay. Let's move on. This is really inexpensive too. This is just, I don't, I, I don't even remember if they called it a tear tray. It's just a couple, a little tiny shelf unit. And I just use it to display some little tiny pieces of silver and whatnot. And I picked up at my recent trip to the thrift store, the silver uh, tea caddy, I'm told it's called. So just wanted to show you that. But look how cute that looks. Drop dead cute. And uh, thrift store coral, dollar store little tag or big tag, and you have a really cool look. Super duper cool, I think that is. And you, I see these quite often, and Amazon has them actually as well. So can, you know, reproduce that look. So cute. So, so cute. And these are a couple of candles. And I recovered, one says number six. The other says number 13, so June 13th, that's my birthday, 
And no, that's not a hint. I just happen to use those two numbers a lot. <laughs> so anyway, okay guys, just, just a couple more things to show you. And this is a dollar store, you know, fishnet. I think it looks so cool. I don't know. I have no idea why. I know it's really cheap. It's so cheap. It's made out of string. But I think it looks cool over the over the clock. It actually looks cooler in person than it is here on the on the screen. But I hope you get an idea. I think they're so cool just to drape over stuff. Okay. And then here in the bathroom, I gotta look. Purple soap and purple candle. To me, that's summery. Just a little shot of that bright purple, like uh, bright purple hibiscus or dahlias. I just really like that color for summer. The soap is fading in the sun, but yeah. Anyway, a purple seashell from the dollar store. I'm telling you, dollar store is where it's at. Okay, this is not really summery, but I wanted to show you. I think you've probably seen my chalkboard before, and I just added a little bit of molding that I happened to find in my project room. I've been cleaning that out. Um, and so I just super glued it on. I tried to miter. I'm not very good at mitering. I just eyeballed it. Anyway, and then I just added some chalk around it. But I think it looks so cute. Just kind of finishes, finishes off the look, you know? Okay. And then in here, look at the new lamp I got, you guys. And look, I put a, oh, let's see. Maybe if I turn this off, you'll be able to see it a little better. There. I glued a little piece of coral that I've been hanging on to. I just really like coral. This is real, real coral. I happen to have a little chunk of it. And I glued that on. It looks so cute. And I refinished this lamp. I'll just throw in a little tutorial. No, not even, not even a tutorial. It's just real easy. But I'll just throw it in so you can see the before of the lamp. And then, I'm not a tear tray person, but I'm starting to really like this one. Look how cool it looks for the summer. These little fans here and coral, those are aquarium accessories from Amazon that I just painted. So cool. Here's that fourth little Dollar Tree succulent. Oh, I love these. I wish they had more of the, the black. I'll have to go back and check. But is that not the cutest thing? Just love that. Okay, and then, oh, my light bulbs. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a little bucket I had from uh, Dollar Tree, and I just painted the little uh, embossed crab and added a little bit of Dollar Tree, uh, or Dollarama, uh, grass. So cheap, so easy. Love, love, love. And then you probably remember these. I added these to my little bedside table. They are just pea pots. And I glued on a printout. Um, souvenir, beach uh, souvenirs. Vintage reproductions. So, so freaking cute. And this is a uh, wired jute from the dollar store. And a little shovel I painted black from the dollar store. And I just like the shot of green again for summer. Got my bed all dressed for summer. Just very, very simple. White. No pattern, no nothing. A couple of duvets and my sheets, and that's it. Love, love, love. For the summer, I just love it. Okay. I think that's it, you guys. I'm gonna get to this room real quick and get it fixed up and show it to you. Okay. So now I will attach some uh, DIYs and there we go. Hope you enjoyed, hope you got some ideas. I really do. Um, it's so cheap and easy. Just use your imagination and you can really, you know, have some fun 
with your place. I see a lot of, uh, or I watch, I do watch a ton of YouTube videos um, for summer home tours. There's not really that many that I've found um, that really deal that much with summer other than throwing some flowers around. That's, that's about it, all they do. I like a little bit more, like with the little beachy details, um, seashells and whatnot, but that's just me. It's so fun to watch their videos too, though. Okay, guys. All right. I shall talk to you soon. Bye!